So Unity is actually stabbing a lot of indie game developers in the back. And I am going to show you the math of all of this because it's pretty astonishing how Unity is going to get away with this, if they can get away with this. Even with, you know, what I'm about to show you, this is going to really decimate the entire indie gaming space if Unity continues to enforce its new policy rules of 20 cents per download. And so doing this math, I have three business models. And the first business model of, you know, indie games is price games, fully released games that sells for a fixed amount of price. And, you know, you get all this content. And uh, we're going to go through this first business model. So let's say that you are developing a game and it takes you about one a year to develop and your team size is just one. You know, you're a solo developer and, um, and you know, you have a publishing fee, Unity installation fee, 20 cents, uh, Steam cut, which is a 30%. And this is where uh, this is where it gets really interesting. So Unity requires you to have 200,000 copies installed and a gross revenue of $200,000. So let's say that your game is sold for a dollar and you know Steam takes $60,000. You know there's licensing fees in here but Unity installation fee costs about $40,000. You know 200,000 copies times out by 20 cents and you know you owe Unity forty thousand dollars, and the revenue cut for this is actually twenty percent. Now this is an important number to keep in mind because a while ago, Unity wanted five percent cut if you made over a million dollars. So technically, Unity was free back then because most indie developers can't make over a million dollars, but the indie developers can make more than two hundred thousand dollars in gross revenue in. In its lifetime, so that's 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 possible, that's achievable. But Unity wants twenty percent of that cut. Let's still go down through this rabbit hole. Let's say that you know you signed with a publishing deal, fifty percent cut, and it costs you about seventy thousand dollars for that publishing deal. You know, with all of the fees and stuff like that. So let's say that you know you went through a publisher, you'd be only ranking up almost twenty eight thousand dollars with the publisher and nearly $98,000 without a publisher and you've been working on this for one year and you know without a publisher this is pretty good money without with a publisher you know this is kind of low it's like you're working at McDonald's honestly yeah you know, if you just sold a game at, for a dollar now um, you know you don't know, add with this you know development costs you know it takes time with stuff like that you're not going to be making anything with if you sign up with the publisher but you know if you sign up after or if you, you just went solo you'd be making 50 grand like so let's say that you know you wanted to sell your game for two dollars and now you know developer gross is four hundred thousand steam takes this cut unity installation fee is still forty thousand but the revenue cut is now ten percent instead of 20%, which is good. So keep in mind about the 5%, we're going to keep that in mind. So let's just type in $4. $4 is the magic number because um, at $4 it's about a 5% revenue cut and 5% revenue cut is an ideal number to have because this is what the gaming industry is actually at right now. The game engines are are asking a 5% revenue cut, you know, at a million dollar threshold. And if games right now can survive with a 5% revenue cut, that means it's that means we have a, a good business model. It, the business can continue to grow. We've seen indie game companies grow with this 5% revenue cut. But now because of the threshold, you know, being lowered, uh, most indie de developers um, are, are going to have a struggle with this. So it's okay right now if it's a 5% cut. But if your game is sold less than, you know, $4, you know, this revenue cut becomes 10%. And we can see that Unity is becoming really greedy in here. So let's go to business model number two, ad revenue games. These games are free games and they'll only make money through ads. And so, you know, we still have, you know, the standard, you know, 
um, cuts. So let's say that the games, the copies installed is about uh, 200,000. 200,000 and ads watch per download ratio. So 60% of the people uh, who actually downloaded uh, will watch the ad. So it's about 60%. And every 1,000 people who actually see the game uh, will be probably making, um, uh, the developer will be making $4.50 per 1,000 impressions. So the developer gross revenue is about $540, which is not a lot with 200,000 copies installed. So we actually need 200,000 copies installed and 200,000 gross revenue for Unity's policy to take into effect. So we're just gonna keep adding until you know, the gross revenue is, and here we go, over 200,000. So 200 million downloads on a free game, free mobile app game, is very feasible. We can we can actually do that, and we can just you know just say 100 million, 100 million, and we can make about 270 thousand um, gross revenue. But if you look at um, the installation fee, Unity is asking 20 million dollars. You know what that percentage of revenue cut? That's seven thousand four hundred and seven percent. Jesus! <laughs> if you sold the game just like two or three dollars, Unity is taking ten percent. But this freaking you know free games is taking seven thousand four hundred percent. You just I don't even care. I don't even want to talk about any of this. It's just you're in debt, man. <laughs> you're in debt. So. Even if I double the impressions, you know, being very generous about every thousand impressions for eight fifty dollars, you're it's just you're just not going to cover the cost. You're still in debt. Like this is nearly four thousand percent revenue cut right here. You're still in debt because you know negative number. This is how much you have to owe. It's just so people who actually go through free game, free mobile game, and they want to sell the game and stuff like that. It, this is not a good business model you're just not going to survive at all it's just unity will literally cut you you know sever your head and throw it to you know a pond or a lake never to be found again you just that's that's how they're going to murder you just in cold blood like if your game went viral and it's a free game and it has ads you're hoping that your game isn't going to go viral because if it does you be paying freaking unity 20 million dollars and your gross revenue is only half a million you can't you can't you can't do that you just can't and so business model two is just never going to work at all like you're going to make a mobile game free mobile games just won't exist anymore if you if they use unity it's just this is a huge liability you're just not going to do it so let's move on to business model number three it's a little bit better. So uh, we have microtransaction games. Um, microtransaction games is pretty much you're downloading a game and it's free and you buy in-game app purchases like loot boxes and stuff like that. Sometimes games can have a, a price tag to them and then you know microtransaction within the game. But we're going to say that this game is free with microtransactions. Let's go through this rabbit hole. <clears throat> a really bad rabbit hole. Let's say that um, you have 2,000 copies installed and the average people that actually buy in the game is about 5%. It could vary, you know, 1 to 5% or 5 to 20%, but we're going to say 5% statistically on average. And uh, average person spent per person, we're going to just going to say $5, just $5. And it uh, looks like we haven't hit the hit the gross revenue yet. So this is about um, 50,000. Um, we can change the copies installed, but that won't you know, increase the, uh, the amount of gross revenue. We're gonna say that, okay, let's say that um, an average person spends $10. We haven't hit that gross revenue yet. So we're gonna double that. And the developer gross is now 200,000. Okay, so an average person needs to spend about $20 to actually uh, hit this mark. And uh, Unity installation fee 
you know, still takes forty thousand dollars. And but the revenue cut is twenty percent for this microtransaction business model. And that's that's a lot. Twenty percent revenue cut. You know,、um, Steam takes thirty percent, and this already takes twenty percent. So let's let's say that we want this to be at five percent because five percent, you know, people survive on that. So I know the number for this. It's eighty, eighty dollars. An average person needs to spend eighty dollars for this revenue cut. It's it's for for the five percent revenue cut. It's just it, like it's just, you can't. It's just like. I'm I'm getting speechless here, but that's a lot of money to spend. I mean, this is like a AAA game, full price, right here. You spend eighty dollars and you get the full content. But if you only have like two hundred thousand copies installed, and an average person spends about eighty dollars, that's that's hard to achieve. Very hard to achieve. You're gonna be relying on whales, like people who spend a thousand dollars on a game to actually average your cost to eighty dollars. So indie game sells about you know five dollars to thirty five dollars, roughly around there. So let's just say that we want to spend thirty five dollars for this game because you know it's an indie game, and this is where Unity takes、uh, a larger portion of your cut. It's about eleven point four percent of your cut of your revenue, and we want this to be at five percent. It's just it's just this is how Unity is. Pretty much taking your money. It's just, it's just that, and you know, most typical games I see is about like twenty five dollars, and revenue cut sixteen percent. That's, that's horrible. So this business model does work out. Let's say twenty five dollars. You know, you can still make money. It's not that much. You know,、um, with a publisher you make twenty grand. Without a publisher you make eighty two thousand. And this is, you know, after one year development cycle, you know, if you work alone, you know, this is this is pretty good. But if you're with a publisher, you you can't live off with twenty grand. You just can't. So that's why your business model needs to be higher. So let's say, you know, average person needs to spend thirty five dollars. It gets tougher when it gets higher. And so now you have a hundred thousand dollars a year, and th- this business is fine, but. This business model of you know micro transaction business model three it's just it's just it's just not going to work out. It, it's it's harder. The business model for this is harder to actually to actually make this feasible. It, it's just it's just not. It's like it's like you, Unity really really screwed over a lot of indie developers. It says on their website that ninety percent of indie games indie developers won't be affected by this, but They will, they actually will. And just looking at the math, it's what we can see. We can, I can, I can make it very good guesstimate. Like, like we won't be seeing any free games because if they go viral, they bankrupt. Man, they really bankrupt. Business model number three. This is really hard to actually get an average person to spend about thirty five dollars. It's really hard to actually do. This is a really tough business model if you do microtransaction games. The only business model that's actually feasible is this business model number one, which is you're selling a game at full price, and let's say that you want to sell it for twenty bucks, and the game you have team size of three, and it takes about three years to develop your game, and、um, you're you're actually good. You you know the forty thousand becomes like really really minuscule. And you know you're taking home、um, this, and this is not one person. This is for like three people, four hundred fifty thousand. You're taking home like two million without a publisher and a million dollars with a publisher deal. That's business model number one is survivable. You, you can actually make money using using Unity in business model number one, but not in business model number two or business model number three. This is gonna change. The indie gaming space a lot, especially in the free games. It's it's gonna change a lot, and Unity is like the Palpatine of games, and he just executed Order sixty six. People just people realize what just happened. God dang. Anyways, good luck to 
developers out there just if if Unity doesn't like retract their policies and stuff like that, we're gonna have a lot of indie developers, you know, going bankrupt and just cutting their losses with Unity. We're gonna see quite a few indie developers do that. We're gonna see indie developers go into a new engine, and uh, they're probably gonna have to um, fork out their own cash just to pay out Unity. And for this, just, just it's really expensive to actually move to a new engine than to uh, stay in Unity. I mean, like, and business not model number one. That's true because it's very, it's very cheap. I mean, it, it's very, it's more expensive to switch to a new engine because you have to train everybody and it takes time and stuff like that. And you know, the unit, the installation fee is about forty thousand, which is minuscule if you sell the game at you know a higher price but business model number two your game already went viral you're you're royally screwed i mean just pray that your game doesn't go viral and business model number three it's it's hard it's really really hard to actually really hard to actually manage this because the revenue cut is just higher it's just it's not it's not yeah, it's just it's not that great. It's just not that great. Anyways, yeah. Unity's the Palpatine and he just executed Order 66. Good luck to all the other indie developers out there and stick with business model number one. That's my advice to you guys.